How's it going? In the last tutorial, I taught you how to set up OBS, uh, Streamlabs OBS, um, to capture your desktop. And I taught you how to send it to Restream.io and how to set up Restream.io to send your live stream out to Twitch and YouTube. Okay, so that's three end sources for your live stream uh, using one program on your computer and then kind of like a quasi uh, interchange on the internet. Okay, so now we're going to delve into OBS Studio and we're going to cover um, real basics on themes, how to download a theme, um, how to switch between themes, and then also how to set up hotkeys. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on themes up here in the corner. All right. And then you're going to kind of just go through here, find the theme that you like. You get animated and static uh, themes. And uh, once you get that done, you're going to go ahead. Um, I'll show you real quick. You're going to install overlay. Now, once you install that overlay, it's going to kick you back out to the editor. And if you see here, I'm, since I'm capturing my screen, it's just going to do that infinity wall of windows I suppose um, but once you get the theme installed it's going to have something um, like this like this is a theme I use okay and so it's gonna pop up like this if you have a webcam it should automatically turn it on um, and you should see your face okay um, if you have multiple themes the, the way to switch between them is to select over here. You see where it's got the theme name. It's got the down arrow. Click on it. It's going to show you all the themes that are installed, right? Like uh, Relative Minds, I suppose. Um, and then you can just click between. So when you install a new theme, it's not going to wipe out your old theme, okay? Um, I, I had to scare about 10 minutes ago where I downloaded a theme. In fact, I downloaded that... Uh, um, relative minds theme and I almost freaked out because I thought I lost my original theme. But that's not the case. Okay. So it just took me to sit back and, and kind of look at the interface to figure out what was going on. Um, so you can always go back to your original theme. Okay. So if you install one, it doesn't delete. You install, it doesn't delete one. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go back to up. Let it load up. Okay. So now based on what you have here, these are your um, scenes, I suppose, right? S starting, ending, be right back, intermission, and then the actual, this is what's capturing Aces High. So if Aces High was open right now, that's what you'd see right here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close this all out. Okay, and now we're going to go into the settings. So we're going to hotkey all of these to include these two buttons right here, your go live button and your record button. Your go live button is going to broadcast your desktop to Restream, which is going to in turn broadcast it to Twitch and YouTube. Record is going to simply record like I'm doing now, and it's going to tuck it away in your uh, videos folder. Okay, so let's go open up settings and you're going to go down to hotkeys. Now with Aces High, um, it's, it's temperamental. It likes to throw a fit when you tab out of it, or at least in my experience, right? So it's important to set up hotkeys for not only your streaming, um, but your recording as well. So I have those set. I use the, the shift and my function keys for my streaming and to switch between my different scenes. Okay. And then I have my recordings done with F5 and F6 with control. So control and then my function keys. I also have it set up so my audio is controlled by control and my function keys. Just a second. I have it set up so that uh, control uh, control F1 and F2 turn or mute and unmute my mic. Control F3 and F4 uh, mute and unmute. Uh, my desktop okay and I have in my starting stream I have music that plays in my intermission I have music that plays so I don't want my desktop uh, banging banging music out so I mute those when I go to those two scenes okay so get in here um, and, and set up your shortcuts for your go live kill your stream record kill your recording of uh, mics on and off webcams on and off if you want um, desktop sound uh, 
on and off. And then you also want to set up for your scene transitions. So like if I hit shift F3, it's going to bring me to Capturing of the game, excuse me. Shift F4. Did it throw it? Did it whack it all out? No, no. To just ignore me on that one. Okay, so Shift F3 is my stream starting. Shift F4 is my actual capturing. Uh, Shift F5 brings me back to my might be right back. Uh, Shift F6 brings me to my intermission. Shift F6 says, um, brings me to my stream ending. Um, a stream ending scene okay so get those set up and um, have another computer uh, a phone or a laptop or a tablet open so when you stream for the first couple times um, you can have that opening kind of run through um, and make sure all your audio volumes are set properly or the way that you want them because you don't want it to have where you go blast it to your uh, your intermission music or your streaming uh, or your stream starting music and it's like super duper loud where people have to rip their headphones off their head you know what I mean but then again you don't want it to where the voice is so soft where they've got to you know really crank the sound so you want to get those kind of equal um, so that's the basics to get um, I guess a customized start with OBS I hope you enjoyed it um, I've got to get ready to go to work so I'm gonna end the video here and um, hopefully I'll if well, if people want to, I'll go ahead and create another one um, down the road. All right, thanks for watching.